Dow dropping like a stone, this is an event that our children will remember when they're 50. Dow fell 3,000 points by the end of trading Monday as part of the stock market's 12.9% drop, the largest one-day sellout in American history. Worst day since 1987. Destruction of wealth on a mass scale. No one escapes the pain. Dow loses 33% in a couple of weeks, and this is only the tip of the iceberg. Stay safe out there, people. Crazy times are coming. After the worst point loss in history, there's going to be some profit taking. Sell on any dead cat bounce, which this will most assuredly be. Who is Trump trying to fool? The country is going to be on lockdown, and the GDP is going to suffer big time, why would even an idiot buy stocks? Unless, of course, it is all the plunge and fraud protection team's handy work. Lipstick meets pig. Any rebound won't last. First, it was a supply shock, now a demand shock. Nobody had planned for this. They won't fix it with neo-Keynesian monetary policy, but they will try. While stocks sink in deflation, the dollar will begin to hyperinflate as helicopters drop money. Go long gold and silver. If you don't, you won't have another shot. The Fed will buy everything for nothing. When somebody counterfeits money, it is considered a crime while the central bank counterfeit trillions of dollars, and it is considered injecting liquidity in the market. Foreign central banks dump treasuries for 17th straight month, continue to hoard more gold. The days where the dollar is the reserve currency are numbered, and we're going back to basics. You know, everything old is new again. Gold was money in the past, and it will be money again in the future, and central banks that are smart enough to read that writing on the wall are increasing their gold reserves now, said Peter Schiff. It is absolutely guaranteed that this $1.50 quadrillion will implode in the next few years and drag the whole financial system with it. But before that process has finished, central banks worldwide will print a few quadrillion dollars, euros and yen in their desperate attempt to prevent an unsalvageable tragedy. Dow going to 2,650 and rates going negative. Ready to lose your pension, IRA, retirement, and savings. I have news for you baby boomers out there that invested your retirement into equities, Wall Street was never going to give the money back. You got suckered. Welcome back to the Atlantis Report. Please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels. I do upload videos there, too, on a daily basis. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you. Like a bad dream that is coming true, we are now finally on the precipice of a global economic collapse that will also include a banking and monetary collapse. Blow up the bubbles, and after the pension funds and retail investor gets in, the bubble pops. Wealth is transferred up from the serfs to the lords. Your loss is their gain. A perfect storm in the making, with a world economy dependent on a just-in-time supply chain and millions of people dependent on a just-in-time paycheck. The Federal Reserve is the biggest owner of real estate. We have a bunch of scumbags who create money out of thin air and buy stuff for free. This is how the Roman Empire ended its population. Buying and keeping all the assets to themselves, the 1% at the top, and pass the huge debt onto the slaves below. The Roman Empire did not die. It simply ridded itself of its commoners and then slipped into the shadows. It re-emerged in the 20th century as our current system of admiralty on the Holy See. The treasury is a Roman operation. Everyone is a Roman slave, literally. No monetary stimulus because no one believes the central bankers anymore. No fiscal stimulus because you can't stimulate an economy that's shut down by government edict. The virus was the catalyst. The response removed all the shock absorbers. There's still about eight years of bubble to deflate and a hard landing somewhere after that. Forget the Great Depression. Try the Long Depression of 1873. Exactly how do the experts figure to restart everything once the crash is over? Exactly what is going to be left to restart? From what I can see, not much. Crash the Fed. Introduce new gold-backed dollar. The leaders of the world have been bought off by the bankers, so they're not going to prohibit the banks from issuing more debt. And of course cornhole virus was planned. 2019, World Economic Forum draws in health, medicine, and biopharma leaders from across the globe. Novartis CEO, Moderna CEO, Johnson & Johnson, and AC Immune CEO Andrea Pfeiffer. 
They'll be joined by Bill Gates, World Health Organization Director General, CDC Director Julie Gerberding. This year's meeting features panels on progress in vaccine development, financial investment in global health. Global health experts will lead a panel on what needs to happen to confront new biological threats that haven't yet been identified, dubbed Disease X, is Cornhole 19, Disease X? Moderna, that attended, was one who got the Cornhole 19 vaccine contracts. A coincidence? I'd have to be deaf, blind and stupid to think so. They are preparing us for martial law, and this virus lockdown is the perfect excuse to socially condition us, so when there's a breakdown in society, and we get martial law, lockdown, we'll accept it like good sheeple. Watch this virus be used as an excuse to strip you of your rights. You will have the right to confinement. All those things which you believe are freedoms, gone. That is phase two, phase one was taking away your voice, most have already willingly done that. Two, your freedoms. Stage 3. Will be swift and brutal will follow shortly. All the deception and propaganda of the last 12 years are starting to backfire. In more ways than one. People are waking up, and it's coming from above. This was the Atlantis Report. Please like. Share. Subscribe. And please take some time to subscribe to my backup channels. I do upload videos there, too, on a daily basis. You'll find the links in the description box. You will also find a PayPal link if you want to make a donation. Thank you. Thank you.